Listening one, chasing your dreams. Listen for main ideas. Page forty-eight. <laughs> Okay, so last week we looked at various definitions of success and common ways people measure success through status, fame, money, possessions, and so on. Now this week I want to expand on this and ask you to question the importance of success and what it really means to be successful. We learned from an early age that success is good. Something we should try to achieve through a combination of hard work and determination. You all know the expression: "If at first you don't succeed, try, try again." Well, some research suggests that trying really hard to achieve something might actually be the wrong thing to do. It all depends on whether your goal is achievable. To give you an example, imagine a short. Thirty-year-old man who smokes forty cigarettes a day. Should he give up his job to take up basketball in the hope of becoming a major basketball star? I don't think so. So the first point I'd like to make is that you need to be realistic about what it is you want to achieve. Chasing an impossible dream, one that you can never reach, is a frustrating waste of time and energy. Make sure the success you're aiming for is achievable. If it isn't, then readjust your goals to something more reasonable, something that you can achieve. The second point I want to make is that, of course, success is good, but trying to become successful shouldn't take over your life. You shouldn't become so determined to succeed at something that it causes you stress or anxiety. People who put too much importance on succeeding at something and then fail can have serious psychological problems. This brings me to another point, which may shock you: success isn't always a good thing. Success in one area can bring problems in others. For instance, a successful career might result in the end of a marriage. Good relationships take time and effort, and if someone is working hard at developing their career all the time, then their family life and relationships can suffer as a result. Take, for example, all the famous people we hear about getting divorced in the media. These actors, pop stars, and so on are at the top of their profession, but they pay a price with their personal lives. A close friend of mine from my high school days is a successful businessman, but he got divorced last year. He says his career ruined his marriage. So be careful what you wish for, and make sure you know the downside as well as the up. The final point I want to make in this introduction is that we need to remember that our definition of success changes with age. What people want to achieve in high school is different from what they want to achieve when they are twenty or forty or even seventy. So, for example, success for my grandfather is getting out of bed in the morning. Be aware that our goals change over time. You may want a sports car now, but when you have three children, maybe you'll want a big family car instead. It's important to recognize that our goals can change as our lives change.